Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, I just want to, so to say thank you because we just reached the 800 subscribers and maybe it's not something like, I don't know, 10,000 or 100,000, but for me it's very important because I know that this channel is growing and I know that the content that I'm making, uh, I think at least it's, it, it's just giving you some valuable information. So thank you very much. And as well, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and like the video as well if you really like it. So thank you very much and let's start with the video. So for today, we have the Lenovo ThinkStation P620. This is an amazing workstation because it is packing the AM, the AMD Threadripper Pro series processors of workstations. It is not the newest 5000 series, it still has a 3000 series AMD Threadripper Pro, but I think these workstations deserves just a complete video to talk about what are the advantages and why is this workstation so special. So today we're going to talk about the features, the advantages and disadvantages and what it is the difference of these AMD based workstations comparing it with other workstations as for example as the Dell 5820 and the HP C4G4 which are exactly the same series of workstations that the enterprises or company or professional users are used to buy. So let's start with the specifications and the target market of the Lenovo P620. That, let's talk about this AMD workstation. This is the first professional workstation from a big house as, a, as it is Lenovo that introduces the usage of AMD processors into their workstations lines. Most of the time, since as I just mentioned in the previous video, since 15 years, Dell, Lenovo and HP workstations are always, have been always using Xeon processors. That's why this revolutionized a little bit the industry world in regarding workstations back in 2019 when it was introduced because first of all, like it was the first workstation or it is the first workstation that is really using something different as Intel processors. And this is the first big features, AMD processors. The Lenovo P620 is capable to accept the 3000 series of AMD Threadripper Pro from the 3945 with 12 cores up to the 300 995 with 64 cores, ranging from a base clock of 4 GHz to 4.2 GHz, up to the 3.5 GHz base clocks for the 64 cores and 4.2 GHz uh, boost, uh, turbo boost speed clocks. If you already noticed, this is already amazing because it goes from 12 cores to 64 cores. The Intel Xeon series workstations in the same range, usually, they are using, for example, the Precision 5820, four cores up to 18 cores. Those are the Dell workstations, for example. And you will say, Jorge, but this is maybe more compatible with the bigger brothers, like the uh, 7820 from Dell or the C4, uh, C6 G4 from HP, but it does not matter. I mean, at the end, this is the same chassis or this, this, this is like the model of the 5820 or this is the direct competition of the 5820 and the C4 G4. And it already gives you a ton of choices into the CPU, what you can do with it. So that's the first thing, the CPUs. The most important thing about this AMD Threadripper workstation is that it's going to be able to accept as well the newest AMD Threadripper Pro uh, 5000 series. It is already official that the same chassis, the same mainboard that you are going to have probably is going to get a firmware update, a BIOS update, and then it's going to allow you to install as well the newest 5000 series of AMD Threadripper Pro. This is the Socket SP3, if I recall right. And so you are as well, you are still future proof for at least, I will say five years. Five years with the newest generations of AMD workstations, CPUs, and of course it can last, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years or something like that. So this is the first important thing about the Lenovo P620. One thing that I love and I like about this workstation, it does its expandability. Let me show you why and let me compare directly with other workstations just to give you an idea of how groundbreaking is this workstations in comparison to what we usually have 
in the industry or in the professional sector in the enterprise level. This is the P600 from Lenovo, this is the Dell Precision 5820 and here I have the HP C4 G4. This here guys, uh, first of all, costs me a lot. It is not sponsored, I don't get partnerships with any company. These are my workstations, these are my computers and I love to learn from them and I love to use them of course for my, for my purposes. Let's talk to again what makes, a dif what makes the difference in the Lenovo P620. First of all, the chassis remains almost the same as usually the Lenovo P520, the P520C. Just the difference is of course the introduction of the AMD Threadripper Pro series processors in this. Otherwise the chassis I think didn't change a lot, at least for the outside. In the inside it had some changes, but let's talk about our, again about the main target of these workstations. This workstation, for example, from Dell, it is the best seller workstation in the whole world for Dell. Like if you go to a company where are design engineers, manufacturing engineers, production engineers, industrial designers, graphical designers, uh, movie makers, video editors, professionals, and the company or the startup, they have a partnership with Dell or they just rely on Dell, this is the workstation that they are probably going to use. This is like the most used workstation in any company. Only people that is making like heavy simulations or really heavy effects animations for movies is going to escalate to a bigger model of workstations. Uh, but this is the best seller workstation, the same for HP. Exactly the same what I just told you, if the company or if the startup or if the team is relying on HP computers, this is the best seller workstation that they, are, that they are going to get in the whole world for the whole brand of Dell and HP. From the Lenovo side, it was the Lenovo P520 and P520C, which it was offering and it still offers the same components like the 520. Imagine that you have here the 520C, Dell 5820, HP C4 G4, they have exactly the same components. They use exactly the same chiplet, same CPUs, same speeds, same memory, same amount of maximum memory, NVMe, solid state drives, hard drives, RAID controllers integrated into the chassis. The same, it's exactly the same, just the brand is different and the design is different. What Lenovo made, it was an amazing thing. He partnered with AMD and released these workstations. And let me tell you, this workstation, it just make the other guys, the other best sellers, look like something really not worth anymore today. Why? Let's start again. These computers, starting price point, it's about 2,000 euros, 2,000 US dollars. If you buy it new, maybe if you are a Dell Premier partner or something like that, like a big, big uh, company, you are going to get some discounts, of course. But usually this starts at around 2,000 US dollars. Doesn't matter if you're a company. And you get a four core CPU, a super basic NVIDIA Quadro, maybe like a P400 or something like really cheap, uh, 16 gigabytes of memory RAM, 32 probably, and 256 gigabytes of NVMe storage. That's the basic storage. That's the basic configuration that you can get when you buy these workstations from the official websites or from the official sites. Maybe now you are getting the, the, fa the high speed clock speeds like the Xeon 2225 4 core CPU, only 4 core CPU. This is for both. If you go to Lenovo, for the basic price, it's a little bit higher. It's going to be like 2300 US dollars. You are going to get a 12 core CPU, which is faster even than the processors that Intel is offering in this workstation. And here you are going to get three times the amount of core, of course, with the same speed, which is that only that is just amazing already because it's a groundbreaking um, technology that they are putting into these workstations with these, these new series of workstation CPUs. And it's great. You are already getting more cores and the expandability of the CPU. For example, these two workstations 
are capped or limited to 18 core CPUs and they are not so fast. They are runs as well like 2.5 GHz base clock speed at uh, or 3 GHz, maybe a little bit less at 18 cores. And you say, Jorge, 18 cores is a lot, but some, for some people it's not a lot. Some people require a lot more CPU power in order to do their jobs. These workstations escalate up to 64 cores and 128 threads. And you say, Jorge, no one needs this. Hey, there is a lot of people that is making movies, like professional movie makers, Hollywood movie makers, studios, complete filmmaker studios. They use these workstations. They use render farms probably to render the final output of the videos, but in order to work daily driving a device, they use these kind of workstations and they could really require more CPU power. And that's the interesting, the Lenovo P620 offers this such level of scalability. And only that, it works a lot. Yeah, because you can, and that's the nice thing, when you have the choices, when you have the possibility to upgrade your device, that works a lot. And now with the 5000 series of CPUs, this is going to be, an, this is going to be, and is probably already, let me tell you, the best workstations mid chassis that you can find in the whole world. This is going to be, I mean, this is already it. I tested for around already one month. I've been using these models of workstation for years already, and they work great. I'm in love with these workstations. But when I got this, hey, I mean, the features of this computer makes looks like kit, these ones, and they are the same exactly price. So let's continue. That's the CPU. Let's continue with internal features. What it makes these guys so special. Let's start like every workstation review with the chassis design, with the exterior design. And this Lenovo P620 is built like a tank. Like it's pure metal, heavy, but very robust. It's really the heaviest and the biggest of the other two chassis. That's why maybe some people is going to compare it with the 7820 and with the C6G4, which are the a little bit bigger workstations model, but not the biggest. And this is also not the biggest, but this is the most powerful. So this is like really built like a tank. It's made to last, pure metal, and so of course some plastic components like these ones, like the exteriors, but let me tell you, it is pure metal. It's heavy, you have as well two handles here, to carry it around, which is very effective, as the same as the Dell workstations here and the HP workstations as well, that all of them have handles to carry them and the exterior this design is very basic, just black. But let me tell you, I think the front looks, I think maybe a little bit better than the other two. And the nice thing of this, I, I think this is a nice thing, this is a nice, and that's a nice touch of the P620 design is that the uh, input fan, the front fan, is here in the middle and it's not always like a little bit down like in the 5820 or here in the bottom like the C4G4 because when you are in your office or something and you uh, have the fan, the front lufter here, it's going to take a lot of dust from the, from the floor and I think when you have it a little bit here, just a few centimeters, uh, to the top is making really a huge difference in the amount of dust and particles that it is really going into the system, which is I think is a nice thing from the front uh, of the front chassis design. And then you have here two 525 inches drive base. If you are still using them, of course you can get adapters and come and use them as a replacement for hard drives, more hard drives, or SD card readers, or I don't know anything else. What you can use here. And then here in the front chassis, you have your power button, you have an audio jack display, and then you have two USB 3.2 type A running up to one up to five, uh, five gigabits per second, the other one up to 10 gigabits per second. Then you have two USB type C 3.2 running at 10 gigabits per second. One of them is a power delivery charger up to 10 watts if I recall right, and then you have here, this is a new thing added to the P620, which is uh, like a code indicator. If you have, if you are having some problems or if you are still, you are booting for the first time or if you change some components, 
here you have a display that is going to light up in red actually it's a pretty cool thing and it's going to give you an error code or it's going to give you the output codes of what is happening when the system is starting up i think it's a nice thing everything else is pretty normal you have here your thing station logo and it is pretty basic as well the 520c so that's for the exterior design there is nothing else to see and it's just a high quality and i think it's a good looking front design so if we go to the side we have this uh, lash to open the case which is pretty basic you just need to click here one thing where you have the three points and then it's going to open and then it allows you to open the latch, which is very, pretty basic for every workstation. It's always the same design. And then to close it, you just press, press once, and then it's closed. On the other side, there is absolutely nothing and makes no sense for me to show you. Let's go now a little bit with the back. Here in the back, actually it's pretty, it's very standard. Like every other workstation, this is very standard. You have your audio jacks, for microphone, for input, for output. You have here a serial connector. This, this one is not always included in every model of the P620. I got this already with the serial connector, which is always a plus. And you have your old PS2 uh, peripheral um, port for keyboard, for mouses. I don't know what else do you have with still with those ports, but they are still there. If you need them, then we have, uh, let me unplug my Logitech unifiers. Then you have two USB 2.0 ports. Usually they, they are 2.0 because uh, you need always or almost always a keyboard and a mouse and you connect them directly usually to these ports, pretty reliable. Then you have four USB 3.2 10 gigabits per second port. A nice thing, pretty nice storage. You have then a 10 gigabit network card and this is a this is one of the first biggest fe bigger features of this workstation, which makes it already better than this two. Just as default, any P620 is going to have a 10 gigabit NIC integrated. Amazing thing. You don't need PCI 10 gigabit network card, you don't need anything else. This has already once installed, which is an amazing thing. And then you have your PC PCI Express slots. Then the power supply, and the power supply, this is going to be a huge deal again. The power supply goes up to 1000 watts of constant power delivery. In Europe, it can push a little bit harder because of the 240 volts that we use here, for example, in Germany. But this is 1000 watts. It is better than this. This one has the 950 watts, and this one has a 750 watts, and this guy has 1000 watts and if you say oh, you don't need that much power i will explain i mean everything has a has a, a an objective and a purpose in the design of these workstations and i will show you later why it has a 1000 watts power supply but that's for the back of the computer let's go now to the inside and let's talk about as well with more difference and comparison with these other two workstations as i just mentioned to open this one just here here and that is the inside of the workstation. Now in the interior is where the fun begins, I would say. Any other workstation design, everything is going to be like a toolless design and quick service, quick access kind of design. You just need to follow the marks. For example, in the HP workstations, now it is a green mark. In the Dell Precision workstation, it's as well a green mark, I remember. And in the Lenovo, of course, it's a red mark. The nice thing, for example, my workstation, my configuration here has a 12 core CPU, which is the 3945 with uh, 12 cores, 24 threads running at a base speed of 4 GHz and turbo boost clocking up to 4.2 GHz. Is this only a 200 MHz frequency change? Um, but let me tell you, the thing is that if the CPU runs constantly at 4 GHz, for me it's perfect because for my CAD applications and for gaming, it makes an amazing job. I remember, for example, in my Dell Precision workstation, I have an 8-core 7820X running at 3.9 GHz and it's, an amazing, it's making an amazing job. And this guy has a 12-core, which is more cores, what are more cores, and with a higher frequency. My HPC 4G4 is running a 4-core 
Xeon W2225 running at 4.1 GHz base clock and it is only a 4 core CPU and this has a gain at 12 core CPU. The heat dissipation needs to be of course correlated to the power and the energy that the CPU demands. In this case the CPUs are ranging I will say from uh, Max's uh, TDP of 250 watts with the 64 cores running at 100% usage and in theory this CPU cooling design it allows the heat dissipation up to 250 watts and then you have here uh, as well a rear fan I think these are like 90 millimeters rear fans 90 millimeters CPU fans you have these two you have two here and then you have as well some memory RAM cooling systems which I don't really like because they are a little bit too loud in the pitch and you can really always hear this a little bit like a small sound coming out from the machine and it's not because the machine is loud it's because the frequency in which this small I think these are 40 millimeters fan you have two in the memory fan in the memory and then you have one here in the optical disk drive I have no idea why this is guy why this guy is here and they spin and they spin with that really weird pitch frequency I have no idea but I don't like this but I mean they are there it's okay you can always unplug them if you want you just need to take care if you unplug the memory RAM if you are going to get a boot a notification when you are booting which is not really reliable because your computer never will, never will boot automatically but the optical drive fan you can unplug it and nothing is going to happen which I of course unplugged it in the very first day that I got this computer then the interesting thing here of course is the uh, support of up to 64 cores as I just mentioned and up to one terabyte of memory RAM DDR4 running at 3200 MHz. Unbelievable. The HPC workstations accepts, accepts up to 512 GB with a Xeon CPU and with 64 GB module in quad channel. The Dell Precision exactly the same, 512 GB with 64 GB modules and in quad channel this accepts up to 1 TB with 128 GB DDR4 modules in an 8 channel configuration so the bandwidth that this computer can really offer to the CPU is unbelievable and if you really like computer science or you are really getting really deep into computing into computing systems you as if you have 64 cores and you are going to use them 100% and you only have 32 gigabytes of memory RAM the CPU cores they are not going to get enough memory RAM space in order to work the data with so the more cores that you need the more memory RAM that you require to fit the CPU cores and that's very important one terabyte in this machine is amazing like really amazing in a small form factor and really slick design you have PCI Express this is a very nice thing and I'm really excited and that's when the 1000 watts power supply power supply comes into the play you have one PCI Express 16 they are 4.0 PCI Express great thing the Dell workstation and the HP workstation they are still PCI Express 3.0 only here I have an Nvidia Quadro RTX A4000 it's an amazing graphics card 16 gigabytes of DDR 6x memory 6000 CUDA cards and it's the one that I mainly use I just change it from one computer to another computer when I need it and in the other computers I have basic graphics cards so the nice thing take a look to this PCI Express configuration I hope you can see everything let me show you here as well you have an incredible amount of PCI Express you have PCI Express by 16 PCI Express by 8 by 16 by 16 by 16 and by 8 everything is PCI Express 4.0 and every slot has so many features that you can configure in the BIOS which is an amazing BIOS let me tell you so much better than the other ones and you can configure everything here everything can be configured to exactly the devices that you want to use you have great support for NVMe drives you have great support for SATA drives 
you have bifurcation of PCI Express in any of the slots here that are 16, it is just a huge deal this one. And that's the difference of the Xeon processors that are in servers and these uh, workstation CPUs that are new introduced in the latest years is that the introduction of chipsets. And the chipsets together with the PCI Express they are the ones that introduce or that allows the introduction of all these features like the support of all these nice personal usage features that the workstation really requires. If you have a lot of graphics cards, if you have a lot of NVMe drives, capture card devices, I have no idea what you put inside here, needs energy. And energy needs to come from a power source and the power source here is a really reliable 80 plus platinum 1000 watts power supply amazing thing you have as well here one nice storage is the uh, usb internal port for example for example here i, I have my davinci resolve license dongle <laughs> it's a pre pretty nice thing i have here two 18 terabytes seagate barracuda drives um, they are not in red i am using them now just to storage like a archive of my oldest youtube videos and and that's everything pretty much. As I, here you have the chipset. The chipset has had a small cooling system. And then you have here two NVMe M.2 slots, which are, they support RAID. Uh, automatically integrated here. This is another nice win against the other workstations. You don't require a BIRWAC key. The RAID support is integrated into the chipset and into the CPU. Perfect. I mean, just because of that, this one is just so much. 10 gigabit network, PCI Express 4.0, RAID support without BRock keys. Uh, just because of that, this is already so much better than your workstation, so much better. And then <clears throat> you have here your uh, power uh, distribution connectors, SATA connectors, Android 3.0 USB ports, you have plenty of inputs and outputs into the main board of this system. It's just an amazing system. Everything is pretty clean, I would say. You are able to really see everything and manipulate the things if you really need. That's the important thing, as I just mentioned, to have the choices. You have as well here the front fan, it's also detachable. You have the optical drive, everything is detachable here. And I think it's just an amazing inside of the computer. So let me build this again because otherwise it's not going to work my computer when I put it there. But let's talk now a little bit about what is the purpose of this workstation and who can really benefit out of all these amazing features that we just described. As I just mentioned, let, let me bring these guys again, for example. Let's see the HPC 4G4 from the Dell Precision 7820 and the HPC 4G4. My favorite is the HPC 4G4. Why? Because it's smaller and a lot of really nice things that I would review in my latest video. You can watch it here if you want. And let's say, when do you need this and when this is not worth it anymore? Price of these two is almost the same. Like this probably is going to be 200, 100 US dollars more than this one. And in this one, you get a 12 core CPU and a four core CPU. Yeah? That's interesting. 12 core CPU, faster than this support up to one terabyte of memory ram 512 rate mbme support native no b-rock required which saves money as well because this one requires a b-rock storage is almost the same uh, i mean hard drive storage is going to be almost the same pci express 4.0 pci express 3.0 10 gigabit integrated network card, gigabit ethernet, up to 64 cores of CPU power, up to 18 cores of CPU. And you just need to, to, to check this. If you want to upgrade this to the max with an 18 core CPU, it's going to cost you money. Like really it's going to be expensive. Of course, if you want to upgrade this to a 64 core CPU, you are talking already about 6,000 US dollars only for the CPU. But again, you have the choice. And 64 cores in this machine is going to be three times more the CPU power of this one and faster than the 18 cores here. 
So if you are really, if you really want a one machine on a one device to do it all, without compromises of CPU, of memory, of how many graphics card can you put it, of the power that you can deliver to those components, PCI Express 4.0, bandwidth of memory RAM, high speed network, this is the one. And that's the main purpose of the age of the Lenovo P620 with AMD Threadripper Pro CPUs. There is no limitations if you need those features, if you are a power user that really requires and demands the best of the best in one single device, this is the one. It's going to be cheap if you buy the basic thing and the basic configuration is better than this one. It can get expensive if you buy the best of the best, but let me tell you, it's not going to be more expensive than this one. And this is going to be pure saying three times better with better features, better expandability, future-proof, because this is getting now the newest AMD series CPUs that they are going to be out of this world probably. This one is not. They are, they never refreshed this model since like three years. And you say, Jorge, you are being unfair. I'm not being unfair. I'm just telling you that Lenovo is taking advantage of what the market offers them. And that partnership with AMD is just destroying these other workstations. This computer can game, no problem. It can support three graphics cards, full power. It can support the bifurcation of NVMe. It can go up to like, I don't know, 30 gigabytes per second, the NVMe arrays. You have cooling system, you have hard drive storage, you have swappable parts. Everything is just great in this computer. They are also excellent computers. If you don't require anything else, if you need a reliable workstation that is going to be an amazing workstation for every day, for 3D modeling, for basic video editing. I mean, even 8K, 5, 4K video editing is going to be able to handle with this computer. You just need a good graphics card. But if you are doing like really heavy, finite element simulations, motion simulations that require hours, days of computing time, this can really help you. If you are doing, if you are a Hollywood producer, making a three hours long movie. Of course, this can help you a lot to visualize faster every iteration of what you are doing every day. If I am doing simulations of the human body, I don't want to wait. Even if I have the 18 core CPU here, it's going to take, I don't know, two days. Why not make it five hours if I have this, something like this. And that's the purpose of the Lenovo P620. For people that really requires that extra power for those power users that really demands the best of the best in a single device. This guy is the best choice. Uh, you cannot imagine how happy I am and it's, it is taking me time and it is taking me money, of course, but I learn a lot from these workstations and what I do, as I just mentioned, I am an IT guy. I work for the IT department in a very big company, an important company here in Germany. We produce electric bikes, and of course for our design engineers teams, for our engineers teams, having reliable computers is one of the best things. And I found a really nice purpose <laughs> combining my, I'm also an engineer, as I just mentioned, I'm, I'm, I'm also doing my PhD in direction of simulations of the human body in biomechanical systems. And I found just a nice purpose in which I can help other people to make a better world when, in when I have knowledge of computers, which is a thing that I love, is my hobby since I'm a kid. And I love computers, I love workstations, and I learn a lot of this. And I just hope that you can really take some information that is valuable for you with these reviews. And these are not like 10 minutes reviews showing you nice images. These are like long reviews telling you what are the purpose of these machines. Because it doesn't matter if I tell you and I show, and I show you really nice B-rolls about the computers 
and tell you it's a nice CPU, it's good, but I use these computers every day as well. And I know the exact capabilities of this, and I know myself that there are workloads that require so much days to compute. And having a better devices, reliable devices, scalable devices can really help you out when you are doing those kind of tasks. This is going to be probably the first and the last time that you will see these three devices together, these amazing workstations together in a YouTube channel. And it costs me a lot. And I'm not talking about money, I'm just talking about time, years of experience, and so much hard work to be able to get these kind of devices. As I just mentioned, I'm a Mexican guy, I live in Germany, and I do my best to give you and share with you all the information that I probably made in my, in, my, in, my, in my entire life. And I'm just going to keep trying to do it as much as I really can. And I'm just so happy and so excited that I can show you these devices. These are amazing computers. And don't, don't get me wrong, I mean, these are perfect workstations. I, I love Dell workstations. I love the HPC workstations. But this guy is just so much better. And the Lenovo is just the king of the workstations. And actually that can be the title of this video. There's a new king in the workstation series in the whole world. And it's not any model, it's not any more HP. It's the Lenovo with the Lenovo P620 and the AMD Threadripper Pro workstation. There's a new king in the game. So please Dell engineers, HP engineers, if you are seeing this video, if you at any point watch this video, I love your workstations and I use them since almost more than 10 years already now. And I know every model that you manufacture. But the Lenovo, with this partnership with AMD, they are really playing in a different game. They are playing in a different league and you need really to step up in order to try to match the features that these guys offer. So I think the only thing that is really missing in my YouTube channel until now is a game PC versus workstations comparison, which uh, I still haven't made because I really don't need a game PC and I'm not going to spend money in a, in a PC that I really don't need. I bought these computers because I needed them in the time to make my research and I shared them with you, but now I've got this. So if I find a partnership here in Germany with a small company, with a small retailer that it is kind enough to sponsor a gaming PC build video or something like that, then I really will compare gaming PCs with workstations. But there is a new king, as I just mentioned, there is a new king in the game of workstations, of personal workstations, and it is the Lenovo. Let's see what comes next year. Let's see what comes this year with the new C series of CPU. I think Lenovo with the P620 is going to remain in the throne for at least two or three years probably, and Dell and HP, as I just mentioned, they need really to step up to get really in the competition with Lenovo. So thank you very much for, guys, for watching, guys. As I just mentioned, enjoy these devices here. I don't know, I, I never found a, another channel, another guy that really compared and got these computers together, and I'm just so excited to share this with you. Enjoy them. If you want a new video with anything with these computers, Please let me know, maybe I can find time to make a deeper comparison, benchmarking, gaming, CAD modeling, 3D modeling, rendering, video production, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. A lot of people tell us that I, I built a workstation and it's valid because of course a workstation is a tool in which you can, with which you can do your work. But these are like the real manufacturer workstation from the three bigger houses of computer devices in the whole world, Lenovo, Dell, and HP and I'm just so happy I'm so excited to really show you what these workstations are capable of and what are the purpose of these machines so if you are a YouTube creator if you are an Instagrammer if you are an influencer if you are a, if you are doing that PhD if you are a master student if you are doing your bachelor's degree, if you are an engineer in a company, if you are a design, an industrial designer, if you, and you have doubts that your machine is really helping you out with your work, please let me know and be more than happy when I find time, of course, 
to answer you and to share with you all the experiences that I have with these computers. I'm just telling you, I love these computers and the verdict of this video is going to be I will keep the Lenovo P620, of course, there's no comparison of these two machines with this one and I love these two machines, but this is just simply better. It's just much, so much better and I'm just going to keep this one. I'm going to upgrade it probably, not now, but when the new processors are coming out, I'm going to upgrade it probably and that's the conclusion of the video, the Lenovo P620 with AMD Threadripper's Pro CPUs destroys the other workstations. So thank you very much for guys for watching. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you, if you want and if you want to continue to see more videos like this one, maybe another research stuff. Just let me know in the comments what, do, what would you like to see and let me know in the comments as well what do you do with these workstations. Thank you very much for watching. See you until the next time.